Hello, Aries. How's everybody doing today? I would say what day of the week it is, but I really don't think it fucking matters. <clears throat> oh, that's right. I need to put lip chap on. I'm sorry. I was a little too premature turning on the old uh, record button. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it is. I got this channel that this reading was going to be about somebody. I forget uh, the villain in my life that they said that it was going to kind of revolve around. And now I completely forgot about it because when a channel comes in, I don't remember it. Like I don't, I don't remember videos or what I, what I channeled, like, because it's a channel. I'm not supposed to remember it. It's just, it's how the river flows, baby. Right. It's not supposed to stay and hang 10 for a few hours. And I remember it like, no, that's not how energy works. It's, it's a straight flow. So I don't remember. So I didn't remember that the energy had told me that this was going to be a very, delicate reading like this is going to be like that one of those like inappropriate readings that i do and by inappropriate i say not that it's inappropriate on my behalf but it's inappropriate that this energy ever existed so yeah this is i had to be reminded that this is not a good reading <gasps> great something toxic and i was just reading the news on how much Trudeau, huh, my president, or my, yeah, is he our presidente? El presidente, whatever, of Canada. He is like, he might be in a little bit of trouble. <laughs> Freaking idiot. He looks like my cousin Trevor. And I've never been able to take him seriously because of that. I, I, I think he's my little cousin Trevor all the time because he looks identical to him. So I've never taken him seriously. And now it turns out that he's a fucking tool trying to replace his dad. Listen, you ain't Pierre. All right. Yeah, there's something corrupt in this reading. Like, <laughs> corruption. Okay, we've got mask with lightning. Yep, this is the, this is the, this is what, this is what's supposed to come in because I was looking at it. Somebody with their, uh, this with a lot of tattoos, open chest, and they had lightning bolts on their, on their chest. And I remember thinking like, wow, those are like lightning bolts. Like to put lightning bolts on your chest, like, oof, that's, that's, that's a lot of power. And then look, like there's that, there's that son of a bitch. And I almost wore my lightning shirt. And then I thought, no, I don't want to wear my Fox shirt yet. So this is it. Like, this mess is just going to be fucked, okay? Somebody's like... Ooh! Maybe you've been hidden for a long time. And by hidden, I mean systematically hidden. Not, not like hidden on facebook or instagram if you've got that kind of shit not or like not hidden in real life but like hidden in a realm because that's what the mask is about hiding and then with lightning it's like something can come in really fast or you get an epiphany really fast so i think that somebody's been hidden from something I didn't even notice. Look at this. I wear my sunglasses at night. Who wears their sunglasses at night? I only wear my sunglasses when I do readings because the fucking sun is right there. And I have the greenest eyes in the world. And I get scorched. So I have to wear these. I have to wear sunglasses. Sometimes I have to wear sunglasses inside. Like if malls have like windows up above, I have to wear sunglasses because it's I can't fucking see. It's too bright. This world is too bright for my eyes. <laughs> if you're like me, it's a motherfucker. Like people are like, oh yeah, you're so cool. Oh, you think you're so cool. You're wearing your sunglasses. Like, nah, bitch, I can't see. <laughs> you can think whatever you want. <laughs> I can't see. Fucking idiots. 
just making up their own whatever. Oh, I'm just gonna make up my own answer for people being cool. No, it's because it looks cool and you know it does and you can't deny it. But that's not why I'm doing it. I don't really care about coolness. What is the word cool? Anyways, we're getting off topic. Okay, not today in reverse. Ooh, oh, sword and the rose. That's the fucking ace of swords right there coming in. You also may have a rose tattoo. You may wear your sunglasses inside and you may have a rose tattoo. And if that's true, this reading might be for you. Okay? Because... I'm totally lost on this reading. Game face on. This is the channel. When I get game face on, the channel's coming in. And then my light bright Whitney will come out another time. Yeah, this war is over. War in reverse, six of cups in reverse. So something that you were twisted up in, there could even, honestly, there could have been a war raging against you for years. And you can see it come out in people where you're like, what is with this attitude? Or just people just treat you like shit all the time. And you're like, I don't, bitch, I don't know you. Like, it's strangers, right? And it's like somebody might have been constantly having to, like, defend themselves because they've been at a war. They've been twisted up in a war, and that's what they've been hidden in. It's been a hidden war. And you know wars cannot last forever. A taxi just pulled up, and I'm like, yo, your ride's here. Like, that's your ride out of here. Usually it's the cops that drive by, but now it's a bright yellow taxi. And a big yellow taxi took my girl away. Oh, Counting Crows, I love that album. Um, okay, yeah, the war is over. And you know, like, like, so it's been the it's been clearing off for a while now. So it's like it's been the end of the war for a while. So you've been kind of noticing change, but then you get another attack and then you notice a little bit of change and then you get another attack and now it's like now I see like the fences being closed. Like like the battlefield is closed off now. The the one gang has gone its way and the other gang has gone its way and it's done. They can't fight anymore because the fence has been fenced off, right? So they can't get into the battlegrounds now. And they probably had you. Oh, I can see the outline of a rabbit in my window. Super weird. So you know how fucking fast rabbits run? Like, doo -doo 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 -doo, right? Like, this is good. This is fast. And that's why we got lightning. Like, this is fast. And maybe that's why I'm seeing it on that man's chest. Um, because it's like, this is like, this is heart chakra shit. Like, this is stuff that has hurt you. Right? This has been stuff that, like, you've gotten attacked and you thought it was you. Like, you, like, like, you always thought it was you and now I'm getting girl on the train where, where she, this drunk, thinks everything is her fault because her husband lies and blames everything on her. And then she finds out that she was the nicest drunk in the world and that it was her husband that was the fucking asshole. Right? This is, like, covert narcissists, like, working behind the scenes and, and manipulating people. Ooh, now I'm getting Fallen, my favorite movie to connect with the devil. Like, like, like so, so this entity just went into people, right? And it jumped around people and it hurt you at every chance that it could get because that's how systematically weak humans are because they drink, they substance abuse, and they hate themselves. And that hate those demons feed off of. So it's very easy to jump into a person when that person doesn't even have a soul. Yo, their soul's fucking long gone. There's nobody protecting their temples. So this, this entity has been attacking you. Oh, God. See, that's why I really had to like, 
That's where the channel has to come in. And now it'll be light and bright again. Because that's the main message, is this war has been raging around you with people that, yes, you could see. Sure, they're in your fucking view. You can see them. But the hidden ingredient is that there's something in them that nobody can see. And that's the silent killer. Those are the things, that's the most cowardly fucking energy possible is to be an invincible energy attacking another person through another person. Now I'm getting that short series. I'm watching um, R.L. Stein. No, Stephen King. And it's about a doppelganger. It's, it's about a demon that, that uh, finds a person and then mimics what they look like. And then goes out and kills and sacrifices for the devil and leaves the devil sacrifices. But the only way, and, and like the way it comes through is like this person with like some busted blurry face. Like they don't exist. It's just the way that the entity travels. And then the entity jumps into other people or takes the appearance of another person and goes and does something. And we all know everybody's got a doppel out there. Everybody has a twin and it's not by blood. It's not by marriage. It's an actual person that looks exactly like us. It's just somewhere else. And they're never going to be anywhere near you. They're, you're never going to be able to cross paths with this doppel, right? But that's the difference with this reading now is like, okay, that's just a fun fact for everybody that they have a doppel. But with this, it's like this, this demon is was was almost like oh god this appearing as as all these people and like also could have been appearing as people from your past coming into your dreams right and fucking with you in your dreams and you think it's that person from your past but it's not there's always going to be like if you if you remember your dreams and if you know your dreams and but you see people in your dreams but they're not exactly the way that that person looks there's something different about them that's the doppel that's the thing that's trying to convince you it's that person from the past but there's always going to be something wrong with it because it can't appear 100 pure because it's not <sighs> huge message. Okay. So yes, this person's been watching you through the eyes of other people. Wow. And this is coming up today. That's why we have not today in reverse. Like I'm like, why the not today in reverse? You're like, well, because it's today. This has to be revealed that somebody has been fucking with you. And that, that's why we got this, the truth, right? Like, this is the truth. Like, someone's been fucking with you, and it's been right in front of your face, but it's through people that you don't know because they're strangers. And strangers, people are so weak. They want to hurt other people, especially people they don't know, right? It's fucking flipping fingers and traffic and, and cutting people off and coming at people and fighting people, like... Eye for fucking eye, tooth for fucking tooth. Yo, this is coming back around to this person. This is what we call a clap back, okay? This is you clapping back for equality because something was so fucking wrong and it was so twisted with and it was so sabotaged with that they cheated. They cheated. They cheated by hitting you with different people because they never hit you with their actual form. It was all through other people. And that's that's so fucking cowardly. And that's what a, a, a very awful energy would do is they would never come to you with their face. They, they, they don't want you to know what they look like because they know that if they come at you face to face that you're going to defeat them. Because they're weak. They have to appear as other people because they don't even want to be themselves. They know how weak they are. Ooh, Queen of Swords, the lady of the law has stepped in. That's like justice. It's like, it's like this huge, this war was raging, okay, in this fenced off area that I can see. And it's like suddenly this presence, this essence walks into the middle of the war and everybody stops because it's this huge bright light that is like, like stop traffic hot. 
right? But not sexy hot, like you're gonna stop traffic because of this. Like, okay, yesterday, a Canadian goose stopped traffic on a main highway, okay? A goose stopped traffic. So trust me, this essence that came in and it stopped the fight and then everybody put their, their swords down and then she went, you can't do this anymore. And then made everybody leave because the one person that was attached into it wasn't supposed to be there to begin with. It was because the other people just wanted to attack this one person raging this war when I'm sorry, but the way that I see it is wars have to be raged together. Okay. Each side has to decide to rage war. It's not just if one side decides, then the other side has to counteract. It has to defend itself in some way. If this is like the old Ukraine, like Russian war now I'm, I'm suddenly getting because Russia just started doing shit. And then Ukraine has to like, you know, it has to, it has to defend itself some way, but it can't. And like now that I'm getting like, maybe that war is going to stop now. Maybe that's what I'm picking up. Maybe it's going to stop now because something comes in that's bigger than both of these people. And it stops the energy from continuing because that's the thing is it can't go on forever. It can't. It's, it's impossible. Somebody's going to run out of ammo. They're going to run out of ammunition, obviously, right? They're going to run out of men or they're going to run out of machine. They're going to run out of something. They, 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 they're not going to be able to keep something replenished forever. It's impossible. It's impossible. I mean, even if this shit went on for 10 years, it's still going to stop, right? It's still going to stop. And if somebody's cheating... Okay, if somebody's cheating, which please, I don't know if it's about the war that's actually raging. And I'm not on either side. I am just the reader that's pulling out the energy. I believe in thou shalt not fight, but that's just me. That's just my craziness. So we got the doesn't matter which way ace of swords again so that's just kind of like letting me know that this is like basically right on target that exactly what had to come out this war that has been being raged obviously behind your back is now done the war is over now i'm getting gassy yeah the war is over and that's why we got the six of swords like i think i think it, not only are uh, this is all about moving on not only is ever gonna everybody gonna move on from this but there's gonna be a lot of reflection in the person who started this right like like the the original creator of the war is gonna really be sitting back going i don't know if i should have done that right because that's the thing is that it looks great when you've got all the manpower, it looks great when you've got all the, the energy and the rage to do it. But then once the war is over and you see what you've done to that other person and how much war you've caused and how much wounds you've caused because of some simple, plain, demented mindset of one person, that one person that's twisted and demented up in this shit is like... Where are they going? Ghost. Oh my God. I'm getting ghost man on third by taking back Sunday. Jinx me something crazy. Like this was a jinx. Like this was a hex almost like this was like, ha jinx. Gotcha. But it happened like it, it, it like this is, and, and this might transition this person to death. This was a very painful attack. Okay. And, um, yeah. Three plus 10, 13. I think that's death as well. Look at this. Three of swords, 10 of swords. Like this attack might end somebody's life. And if you think about it, think about Hitler. They found him, they killed him. You know, like anybody that rages war like that, they have to know at the end of the day that this could result in their direct death for starting something that didn't need to be started like that holocaust didn't have to happen it shouldn't have even happened right that's the thing like some of this energy it, it should have never happened but it was a bunch of cocky men right cocky masculine energies that really just want to whip it out and measure it with everybody you know like who's got the bigger one bitch like and it, 
cock measuring. Like, really? Really? Like, no wonder women couldn't rule the world. We wouldn't put up with it. We wouldn't go cock measure. We would just go destroy if somebody was that fucking awful. Women wouldn't put up with it. Not, not, not fucking feminine feminines. Like, there's no way they would put up with it. Oh, my God. The girls are finally getting into the cab now. How long was that? Like, five minutes that cab's been waiting for them? <sighs> See? It's like you're that cabbie. I'm telling you, like, he's been waiting to pick you up out of that fight for a long time. And you were held back. You were held up. Okay, now what happens to you? Let's see if anything will come out for you. For the collective that just got out of this war, what's happening with them? <laughs> Stay at home parent. Maybe you're going to get the gift of being able to stay home now? Property and land? What? So we got spell work in reverse. So this war that was raged on you was simply started from spell work. Okay. Gross. And now it's like, now you get something like this property. I almost feel like that you had to fight on like somebody that's that, that could be it is that fenced off area that you were fighting in could have been your property to begin with. And they came on it and started fighting you for it. And that's not the way shit works. It's already yours. Your name is on it. You've bought and paid for it. I'm sorry, but it sounds like this war was raged because you had a bully. Somebody was trying to bully you out of your own property. And that's why this essence had to come in and clear the land, lock the gates so you can have your property back. Okay. That's why you stay at home parent. Now you get to stay in your land. That's what it is. Oh, Eight of Wands moving. This is like you, it's it's naive, but it's like because just because you just, you could have blamed a lot of this on yourself, right? You could have put a lot of blame on yourself the last few years because of what the spell was doing to you and because you don't see it and you can't, how could you possibly see that that demons are, are jumping into other people and hurting you? Like, how would you know that? You'd be like, well, you know, I had a really bad encounter with somebody today at the grocery store again. Like, well, there's no reason for it. It's because that's how low energy people are. And that's how much they just, they want to hurt, right? They want to jump into things that have nothing to hurt people that have everything. And it's not even like, you might not have had anything physical in real life. It's what, it's the essence that you hold. They wanted to fight right? They wanted to take, they wanted to take you to the dark side and put you into that war. So then you turned like them, but you know, you can't force people to turn, especially if they've had like awful childhoods or awful, uh, lifespans. I mean, they'll fight for their, for, somebody will fight to keep their light on them, right? They, they won't let somebody take something from them if they've already lived a life where that's happened, right? It's kind of like, you know, bullies are just that. They they're, they only bully because people give in to them. They get scared and they give in to them. And then that gives that entity or that person power over people. Like they can do whatever they want. But as soon as you take that power away from them and you stop them and you go, bitch, I worked for this. You can't take something that I worked for. And then it might stop that bully in its mid tracks. But once if people do the domino effect and everybody falls to it, then this thing's just going to keep moving. Right, but it seems like it can't move anymore. It seems like it's done moving. Like, because the movement was the fight. The movement was the war. And the war has stopped everything from you. So now that this war is done and over with, I mean, what comes in for you is, I mean, I don't even want to bring that up because it's not anybody's business. It's not. Like, like anybody's prize at the end of something is not somebody else's business because if they find out that what you're going to get because of what they did, then they'll try to derail it again. They'll try to take it from you again. So I'm not going to go and try to bring that shit up 
then you don't get it. Or if I talk about it, then they know about it. And I don't want anybody to know about this. I just want them to know that the war is over, that they lost, and that you are moving forward. Ares moves forward, the emperor. And that's why it's emperor, because you know, like, you're, you were sitting on your property. You were sitting in your land, and they came, and they started a war with you for no fucking reason, just to be a bully, just to be an asshole, just to get you to get away from it. But you didn't leave. It's your property. Over my dead body, that's what I say now to everything and anything. You want to try to take something from me, even if it's 40 bucks, if it's a fuck, it doesn't matter. A couple nights, it doesn't matter. Over my dead body, you don't get to steal stuff from me. And you don't get to steal stuff from you. People, they don't. And, and, and by a bully, a bully is only a bully because it's been kept alive as a bully. Like now I'm grabbing my dog tag. I see this has like such a dog tag now. I don't know why. Because it's shaped like one. I don't know. I dated somebody in the war, so I really don't want to say that these are like dog tags because like he still wears his dog tag. And like, no doubt. I don't think, how could you take them off after that? You're not always going to have your wallet on you. You know how many times people could die and they, the body stays unidentified? We should all have dog tags on us for fuck's sakes. Marking who we are. Like, maybe I should get some tattooed on me. Mm -mm. That'd be a good idea. Then you change your name, you know, like, what if I change my name? I mean, I change my name on the regular. For, like, real life, I change my name. I have to change my dog tags that were already tattooed on me. Who knows? Brand yourself. Put tattoos on yourself so people know how to identify you. If you do die without your wallet on you. Your direct identification. That's what I said about my first tattoo. I did not get my first tattoo because it was cool. Or because everybody else was doing it. Um, you know how much pain that is? I don't do it for coolness. I don't even know what that word means. I did it for identification. Honestly, you can, if you, if I talked to my parents, I would have my dad online, but I don't talk to my parents because they're assholes and they, they are the exact opposite of what a parent is. He would tell you, because I told him right to begin with, I was like, this is my identifier. Like if I die, because like I was, I was a rough 16 year old man, like I shouldn't have made it out of a lot of situations that I was in. And plus the chick that I was hung out with, oh my God, she loved black guys. And not that the area that I was in was shady enough with white dudes, but like where she put us for some of those dudes that she wanted to get laid, I was like, oh my God, I should have died. Like one of them just fucking, one group of guys came in and robbed her, like robbed her fucking family while they were sleeping. Like, I dog tagged myself a long time ago. Anyways, sometimes we just like to talk at the end of the reading. Now I still have that Taking Back Sunday song in my head. Ghost Man on Third. Or Ghost on Third. I think it's called Ghost on Third. Anybody who's played baseball knows what Ghost on Third means. That's when the batters don't have enough players. And then somebody from one of the bases has to go and bat. It's crazy. Baseball is hilarious. You know what? I don't like professional baseball. I like watching people play baseball. Like, you know, those drunken leagues on like a Saturday. And it's all like the between the 30 and 50 year olds that it's just like drunk baseball that they do on Sundays. That's the kind of baseball I love. I used to always watch my sister play baseball and keep score. I don't like professional sports. It's stupid. It's all gamed and rigged and I like the fucking little kid stuff. I like the adult stuff where they're just drunk and having fun. That's the best. Oh, they're just laughing and giggling out there. I gotta find my sister a, a drunk baseball league for the for the summer. She loves that shit. She's out of shape, but I don't do sports. My body would just break down. <laughs> Anyways, I guess we're having a nice talk because the war is over and it's eye for an eye. Like people got to realize that, man, like you do something to somebody, it's going to come back to you times three. Like you hex somebody, you start a war, you try to take somebody, you try to steal from them or you do steal from them. Like good luck times fucking three, bro. Like that's. Anyways, um, if you want a personal reading, whitneymoonshine at gmail.com. 
email me directly. Um, or you can go to the about section also on the channel and um, that talks about all my prices. And if you're looking for something specific, you can also just email me because we can make uh, readings very custom to whatever it is that you need. And yeah, I think that's it. I think that's kind of all I want to say. Thanks for watching. And if you're new, thanks for subscribing. And I'll see you again soon. Peace out and love each other.